What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and today we're doing a camera comparison between the iPhone 11 Pro and the Samsung Galaxy S20 Ultra. And you can see here, this is a front-facing camera. We're shooting at a 4K resolution, actually. And, uh, well, I don't know, let me know what you think about the quality in the comments section below. But we'll be running these phones through their paces today, comparing different features between the two. So, uh, yeah, I don't know, let's get started. All right, so we're now here testing the rear camera lens. Uh, both of these are handheld, so let me know what you think of the stabilization and the colors and whatnot. I mean, everything here, look at that. that you, that's actually a park, but it looks like a lake right now because of all of the, the rain that we've had. Um, but you can see here just how these two look side by side in terms of 4K video quality. Just raw, out of the camera. And uh, we'll be taking some photos here so I can show you what the photo quality looks like when comparing both of these phones. So let's get into that and let me know what you think about the video quality in the comments section. Uh, from just my experience, just from shooting these these photos on location here, it just seems like the uh, the HDR on the Galaxy S20 kicks in a lot more than on the iPhone 11 Pro. But that's just my thoughts. The selfies, I mean, they could go either way. Though I did notice that the iPhone didn't want to properly expose the background. Um, again, my thoughts. I want to know yours in the comments section. This is video from the ultra wide angle lens on both of these phones. All right, so here we have a stabilization test on both of these phones. Now I'm using the uh, super steady mode on the S20, but you can see here just walking along, um, just let me know which one you think is better, but you know we gotta kick it up and start running a little bit and see how both of these phones handle it. All right, so there's a little bit of a run. We'll do a turn, maybe kind of wobble side to side a little bit. And uh, next up, we're gonna jump into a zoom test between, uh, well, <laughs> 2X on the iPhone 11 Pro and... Of course, you know, we only have a two times zoom on the iPhone 11 Pro. The Galaxy S20 Ultra does a 10 times optical zoom, which is absolutely crazy. But just so you can get an idea for what this 10 times zoom is like, here's our two times zoom on the S20 Ultra. By the way, this video is shot on the iPhone 11 Pro, um, but we can bump this up to a 10 times zoom and get way over there. I mean, it can even go up to 30 and I can go check out this guy sitting over here shoveling the water or whatever he's doing. Um, but you can see the benefits of going from 2X or two times to 10 times is just substantial. So be sure to check the video linked below if you wanna see more photo samples from this. So here's just a rear camera test, just regular rear camera shooting 4K video. Um, obviously there's, there's some vast differences between these two in terms of video and photography performance, but I mean, at the end of the day, it comes down to personal preference. Obviously, I, I don't know if, if you're gonna switch to a phone, um, if you're going from iOS to Android or reverse from that because of the camera quality, but to be honest, the, the Galaxy S20 Ultra here has quite the lead in terms of the uh, the camera race. But let me know what you think in the comment section below and let's get on to some low light stuff. Obviously on the Galaxy S20 series, we have 8K video recording and I did a video on that. So if you wanna check that out, link below. But uh, here's just another front facing camera test before we head back. One thing I did notice about the Galaxy S20 Ultra is that it doesn't like to focus on faces in low light. I'm in a dim light setting right now in my office and the iPhone just kind of picks it up and knows what's going on, whereas the S20 Ultra uh, struggles to catch focus on my face and, and more just on the background, but let me know your thoughts. Now flipping things around to the front camera, it's obviously a different story. I want to know your thoughts on both of these cameras in the comments and we are going to go take a look at some low light and night shot photos. So let's jump into that. All right, so that about wraps it up for this video. And here we are using the ultra wide angle lens in more of a dimly lit situation. In my office, there's not a lot of lights on in here. Everything's kind of dimmer than where we were outside earlier using this same lens 
for video. So I want to know your thoughts on both of these cameras in the comment section below. I think they both have advantages, but personally I appreciate how much is packed into the S20 Ultra in terms of photo and video capabilities. I'd rather have more than I need than not enough. That's just my stance. I want to know your take down below. And if you enjoyed this video, leave it a thumbs up. And also, if you're new around here, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you're notified when new videos like this drop in the future. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. I really do appreciate it. Once again, this is Dom, and I will catch you in the next video.